check it out, guys. I got my Gunner glasses um, for John's gaming channel. I, I wrote Gunner. I actually met the Gunner people at PAX East last year, and I was like, hey, guys, mind if I probably check out your glasses and review them for you. are like, awesome, email us. And I actually never got around to it because sometimes I don't get around to doing stuff like that. But recently, my eyes have kind of started to hurt, so I reached out to them for some glasses. I'm going to try them out. I'm going to review them on my game channel. I'm going to be talking about them. But if you guys want to know more about Gunners, check out John's gaming channel. Oh, yeah, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and favor this video. Yes, there's not a better day in my vlogging world. It starts out with getting free video game stuff. <laughs> Nikki's going to make so much fun of me when she gets home and she sees me wearing these gaming glasses. But it's pretty weird. Simon really likes the package. But it's really weird because I can already tell like a difference in just looking at the video game screens. It's going to like, I don't know, I play a lot of video games. And I like, I'll watch Netflix when I'm playing Minecraft or SimCity or kind of something monotonous and doing an excessive amount of mining. And... Like, it really strains my eyes looking at two screens, so I'm excited to see how these Gunners actually work. And if you don't know what these are, these are Gunner video game glasses. And what they do is they actually, they're advanced gaming eyewear, and they reduce the eye strain and the glare, and you're looking at the screen in just a completely different way with these uh, colored lenses. There's a lot of technology that goes into making them, so uh, you can look at screens and it just won't put as much strain on your eyes. So if you do this stuff all day, uh, you, know, you can really strain your eyes out. Hey guys, so I think I had the flu this week and that's what I was dealing with. I'm feeling mostly better now, finally, just still a little. Uh, but I'm real big on resting whenever you feel sick. Like, rest as much as possible if you can and just get your body back to 100% so that you're good to go again. Because if you're overexerting yourself when you don't feel well, it will just prolong your sickness. But starting to feel better, so yay! But I came outside because I really wanted to show you guys our yard. It's getting much better, still a work in progress. But here, see the grass is all cut and this is starting to get cleaned up around the sides. And there you go. Definitely better than before, huh? What the heck, there's a crunch bar wrapper in the blinds. How the heck does that happen? What do you think of the yard, Doodle Bear? You like it? Is it looking much better? Yeah. So we are going to church today. We aren't really church goers. We kind of just go on the holidays when we're home with our family. Like we were both raised, John is Luther and I was raised Catholic. But Uncle oh, Roger- a religion and it's a gift. That's what John says about being Lutheran. <laughs> but um, Uncle Roger wanted us to go to church with him. Uncle Roger goes to church a lot. So we're driving down, we're gonna go visit Uncle Roger, go to church and then go out to lunch afterwards. So mass has ended and now we're out to lunch at a grill called Magpie's Grill. A grill called Magpie's Grill? I was gonna say a place. It was a little redundant, but Is it a restaurant or is it a grill? It's a grill. It's called Magpie's Grill. So it's a grill. <laughs> but they're still serving breakfast and they have eggs Benedict, so I'm like, <sighs> Eggs Benedict is my favorite. I'm getting Eggs Benedict. It was special for you. I, I, called, I called ahead and asked them if they'd make Eggs Benedict. Oh, did you? for Nikki. Oh, well, thank you, Uncle Roger. And they said, well, okay, Roger, you, we'll do that for you. So we all three got Eggs Benedict. Yeah. Favorite food for yeah. breakfast. Uh, I love holiday sauce. Me too. Yeah. Holiday sauce is delicious. Yeah. John actually makes really, really good Eggs Benedict. Mm, like really? he'll make it homemade and it's just delicious. Even April says it's delicious too. She says it's like some of the best Eggs Benedict she's ever had. But he just, he makes the sauce so perfectly and he'll chop up onions and put it in with the poached eggs and ooh, John's like a, like a, a chef chef. So yummy. But I love coming to restaurants and getting Eggs Benedict. Too. It's a special treat. That came out fast. How good does that look? Really mm. good. It tastes good too. I, I had a little taste. I haven't tasted it yet. You know why These guys got the hash browns though, and I got the country potatoes or city potatoes. They look good for you? What? Do they look good for you, or you want some of the hash browns? No, it looks good. Okay. Outside, doggy. You happy to see me? They're just ready to go outside. Boo! Simon! Well, as always, it was really great to see Uncle Roger today. I'm glad that we made it out to visit him. Mr. Boo Boo no, he just is starts right here. He's purring so loud. 
I know, he's such a little purr. But when we were in church, it reminded me of one of my embarrassing moments in life. When I was growing up, I went to Catholic school and we'd have to go to church every single like Thursday or every single week or something. So I would go to church like twice a week growing up. And one time I was in church and my brain was kind of on autopilot. I was spacing out and all of a sudden I just stood up and I started singing, Ale, 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 Luya, Ale, 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 Luya. And then I looked around and I was the only one singing. No one else was singing Ale Alleluia. But that was like something you did all the time in mass. And I guess it just felt like the right time to do it, but it wasn't the right time. Did you dig in the pillow? I think you dug in the pillow. You wanted to sleep in there. Woot woot. I'm going to Hollywood to hang out with my friend Andre. Andre's who I play basketball with all the time. So, eh. I'm just gonna go hang out with him today. Not playing basketball today. There's no open gym. We could head down to the park and play a little pickup ball, but honestly, I'm not feeling it. Um, I've been feeling a little lazy. I don't know why. I'm really unmotivated. So, Sunday, I'm just gonna take the day off. Um, not work out, not do anything. Still try to diet good. I'm actually down to under 185 pounds, which is awesome because when I left Corona, I weighed just over 200 pounds. It was a 202 to 206 I was going in between. And now I go between like 183 and 188, which is just awesome. That is a really cool Volkswagen bug. It's vintage, it has like all the original parts. It's got some sick exhaust and chrome rims all over it. And it just looks really cool. There's a little Corona. Every time we come over, we start playing, don't we? Yeah, yeah, we do. Corona is about 12. She's a golden retriever. I actually met Corona when she was two. Uh, she was just a young pup. Really awkward dog and really funny. She's got the same problem as Thor does, though. She just loves that ball. Like, oh, dude, where's your ball? Where's your ball? Corona, where's your ball? Corona, where's your ball? Corona, speak. Oh, did you hear? Okay, okay, stop. Speak. No, no, no. Okay, no, no. no. Oh, oh, gee. No, yep. Yeah. Okay, where's your ball? There it is. That's a good girl. Woot! So, just hanging out here. Andre actually just went to throw his laundry in, uh, but we're just hanging out. We were watching some YouTube music videos. We just got done watching the new Blues Trap, not the new, but the first Blues Traveler video. Might not have been the first one, but it's one where. Uh, run around the very famous song that they had and they came out and there's a band that's not actually the blues traveler guy and the lead singer's like super skinny and, and the blues traveler guy is like pretty overweight he weighs about 350 pounds 400 pounds um, at the time and then at the end of the video they show him and not the guy rocking in the band on stage so it's like it's kind of an interesting video uh, because it like showcases like some of the issues i guess that we have in society is like oh this guy's a famous musician he's a famous song but he's like severely over beast or overweight and they have to like they show the video and introduce him in a different way but it was really really cool and i love blues traveler like he's awesome and i have nothing against overweight people but that's just very much how they made the video and got some tennis balls and some shirts it's like the world's largest tennis ball game with no players look at this guy he's got his telescopes out and he's trying to talk people into look at the sun through his telescopes i was always told not to look at the sun this guy's taking it to a whole nother level. He's saying, screw that. Look at the sun with the telescope. All right, guys, so we actually, I wasn't gonna come play basketball, so I didn't wear my basketball attire. I'm actually still wearing my church shoes. Um, but we decided to come play a little basketball today. Andre wanted to just go shoot around, be active. Um, he works you know, like uh, at like a nightclub type deal, so weekends are like his busy time to work. So it's like a good time for us to unwind and hang out on Sunday. But we're just gonna shoot around, enjoy the sunshine. It's a really nice day out. Well, B-ball, there's the three. Oh. The other one just went in, I swear. Jordan, the three. You get a little camera shy. Just on the camera, you start missing. And it's so close. Andre's playing a little pickup ball. Afternoon pickup. 
I'm not gonna play because I'm wearing my church shoes. And I don't wanna like roll my ankle because they're slip-on shoes and they're not actually laced up and they're not attached to my feet. And I, I don't know, I got some pretty nasty moves. I don't wanna be breaking my own ankles, you know what I'm saying? Oh man, so I got talked into playing basketball anyways and we won the first game. I ended up like almost rolling my ankle in my church shoes. Um, so I'm sitting out the next game even though we won because I don't wanna hurt my ankle because that would be like, I don't want to be laid up for a week or two weeks with a sprained ankle and not be able to play basketball and just have to go through that whole thing. I sprained my ankle once in high school playing basketball with because I was wearing the wrong shoes and it, it was awful. It was like they say spraining an ankle is sometimes worse than breaking an ankle um, because it's like it's not as painful so your body doesn't react the same way and your brain is like it hurts way more than sometimes when you break your ankle you just kind of forget about how bad the pain hurts because it hurts so bad. But So I'm uh, done playing. My buddy Scott and Andre playing out there. A lot more people showed up so now we got a full court five on five game. I had some nasty shutdowns. Swapped a few short guys running around trying to pull up and shoot on me. I just shut them down so hard, like the nuclear power plant. You're a funny dog, you know, me just stealing the show. You're too big for the camera. You know, then they say there are no small parts, only big dogs. They're right. <laughs> Simon attacks his tail and he gets so mad. Um, no, I'm, I'm moving it. I shouldn't be doing this. I'm instigating. <laughs> Simon the Kenobi Slayer. <laughs> Thor, you're not getting a new ball. He knows his new balls are up there in the drawer that's open, and he's literally just waiting. I don't know if we've ever done this on tape, but if you blow on Kenobi's face and irritate him, he'll like, he'll like nudge you, and if you keep doing it, like he'll like, every time he'll like, it'll get harder. See, like, <laughs> and now if I keep doing it, okay, all right, reset, reset. <laughs> <laughs> he's really funny. He's like, <laughs> and he's like, he is like so precise with his teeth. He never, never ever like bit me, but he like, he like bumps me. He's like, eh. mm -hmm. <laughs> feeling oh, overs. He's a good boy. He he's is so a proud good boy. of himself. Look at him, like, oh, mm -hmm. he's a good boy. Something's going on back here. <coughs> did you have fun at church today? I did. Uh -huh. It's always fun seeing Uncle Roger. Yeah, it, it was more about seeing Uncle Roger, but it was all right. Yeah, so and I just got home, I just got, whew, there's a little hair on the camera lens. I just got home, just got done playing basketball. I had a fantastic day hanging out. It was kind of like a lazy Sunday. Well, I guess not really, I mean, we, we went to lot. church. I played basketball, so we did a lot. It wasn't yeah. lazy. Every time I go to play basketball, I end up walking like two and a half miles too, because we walk from Andre's house to the park, and it's really far away. Well, mile and a quarter. So yeah, that's all we got. Well, it, all in all, it was a pretty good day. So I think we're gonna wrap things up. Don't you put your thumb in front of my face? No, thumbs up for your face. But you can't see my face. Aphrodite. Crazy. Aphrodite's being stalked. Look at him. He's so proud of himself. Let me get this on camera. Ever Daddy retreats to the corner. Kenobi stretches. All right. The animals have been really, really silly today. Like all day long, they've just been doing goofy stuff. It's been pretty Thor entertaining. Thor was acting like a goof earlier. Yeah, he was like, ah, like rubbing up his back, like on you. <laughs> it's funny. But yeah, I think that is it for the day. So we're gonna wrap things up. Always remember, guys, that we love you, and stay tuned for more vlogs. Mwah. I think they want Kenobi to blow them a kiss. Mwah.